Well, of course, fashion designers are always looking for attention when it comes time to release their new designs. And UK-based KTZ is certainly getting attention for its fall men's 2015 line. And there's one sweater in particular that has gotten the most attention. It's a very uniquely designed sweater. Now, I'll show you a comparison. It's a sweater that was designed by a shaman back in the 1920s. So you get a look at uh, how they compare. They are very similar. Now, the great-granddaughter of this shaman here says it was he, the design rather came to him in a vision that the hands on the chest uh, were meant to protect him from his enemies and from drowning in the ocean. But as you can see, they are very similar to say the least. And his great-granddaughter says it is much more than a simil similarity that she was furious when she saw the two of these next to each other and she was looking for answers. I was... Uh shocked i was furious i was uh, just uh, disgusted that this image is uh, taken and multiplied and sold around the world for a very high price it shouldn't be duplicated without our permission and nobody asked the ktz didn't ask our family at all and nobody knows how he decided to do it either i've been trying to ask him but he's not returning any of my calls. Now she says the picture was available in a book. It could be seen online and they were selling the sweater online for about $845. It is now not online when I went to search for it last. Uh, they don't appear to still have it on their website, but his great granddaughter is now considering getting a lawyer. Well, this kind of thing has happened before where companies, you know, get criticized for using Aboriginal designs without asking anyone. Yeah, and the same company came under fire just last year. A woman who was a Northern Cheyenne Crow designer from Montana, Bethany Yellowtail, was very upset last year. And I'll show you a picture side by side of her dress and a dr dress designed by KTZ. Once again, uh, there was online outrage over the appearance of this dress, that it was very similar to her design. And of course, people will probably remember back in 2010 around the Vancouver Olympics, the Cowichan Nation were very upset to see that Hudson's Bay was selling sweaters for the Olympics that looked very similar to their designs. Eventually, the Bay made a deal with them to sell the original Cowichan sweaters at their stores during the Olympics. And just recently, last February, Nordstrom also came under fire for having the name Cowichan in a sweater that was not, in fact, by the Cowichan, Cowichan Nation, and they have since issued an apology. Chris? Thanks, Susanna.